Hi everyone, Sahar here. I'm so excited about today's video. If you've been following me on my Instagram, which is... You will know that I launched my own brand a couple of months ago, which has been so exciting and overwhelming and just so, 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 so fulfilling. Thank you so much for all your support on our first collection. And I am now here to do an official reveal for our second collection. If you're not already familiar with my brand, I wanna talk a little bit about our inspiration, which I think really ties into the product that we are revealing today. So the inspiration comes from my Instagram handle, which is Sahar's Art. My Instagram started many, many years ago and I was posting first my drawings and paintings that I did while I was still in school. Over time, I started posting more and more of my makeup and then I started posting only makeup and then before I knew it, it had been five years and I hadn't posted or even drawn or painted anything. Actually, that streak kind of broke last year in lockdown when I just had so much time, I started painting and got kind of good at it. But I'd actually been working on this line since well before that. I was just looking for a way to connect these two parts of myself. Our first collection was our The Kiss lipsticks. We launched five lipsticks in two different formulas and you guys really, really loved them. They were inspired by, obviously, as you can see, The Kiss Painting by Gustav Klimt. I love it when it catches the light just Right, and you can see all the like really pretty gold details sparkling. So for my brand, my inspiration always comes from different elements of the fine arts. Whenever we sit down to design and conceptualize a collection or a product, we sit down and we do so much research about art and artists and what inspired them and the colors that they use, their surroundings, you know? And then after that, we spend even more, so much more time actually formulating and creating the product so that it's extremely high quality, long wear, humidity proof, just unlike anything you've ever used before. Whenever you use it, I want you to feel like, wow, you know, like this is really good. <laughs> Thanks guys, I know, high standard. I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we spend a lot of time perfecting the wear, the finish, and we really take into account the different types of people that would use it in different situations. We really try to make everything very beginner friendly, but also if you are a professional or a working makeup artist, also enough to keep you interested and coming back to the product again and again. We spend a lot of time also making sure that all our formulas for all our products, every single thing is cruelty free and vegan, which especially the second one can be really tough if you're, you're really hoping for those vibrant and intense color payoff, which is extremely important to me. It's non-negotiable. So it takes a lot of time. Another thing we really pride ourselves on is being single-use plastic free throughout the design, conceptualizing, packaging, and fulfillment of our products. So whenever we ship out your order, there is no single-use plastic in it. We are always actively looking for different plastic-free alternatives, um, whether that's paper, plastic wrap, paper, plastic wrap, paper, <laughs> bottle wrap. <laughs> It's like this, it's like a little honeycomb thing. It's really good. <laughs> All our orders are shipped out in paper poly mailers and that actually took us a really long time to find. So I'm very proud of that one. All those factors, including the fact that COVID really came and gave us a real run for it. Um, I'm gonna save you a long story of many heartbreaks and delays and we get right into it. I'm so excited to share with you this product today. This is our Mona Painter's Palette. So this is the first product in our Painter's Palette series. The shades are inspired obviously by the painting, but also they're inspired by the life and works of the artist. And we also took a lot of reference from what the artist's oil paint palette would have looked like and kind of made that connection to a makeup palette. So the concept is the inside of this palette is kind of inspired by what Da Vinci's oil paint palette would have looked like. You me? So the palette is vegan and it's cruelty free. Um, there's 15 grams of product in here. It's made in Italy. 
um, we ship from our warehouse in Singapore. So there's three different formulas in here. We have some really buttery, super pigmented mattes that look incredible on everyone and so easy to blend out. We have shimmer and we have a gorgeous duochrome that I actually have on my eyes today. Here's the inside of the palette. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna open it up and here we go. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. So the first shade I wanna show you guys is our gorgeous matte bone color. It's Angiari. So the name is actually inspired by the Battle of Anghiari. It was a painting by Leonardo, but it is known as the Lost Leonardo. Then we have Principessa. It's a beautiful, tawny kind of color. If you're a beginner, you're going to love it. One swoop of this over your eye. You can use it to blend out pretty much anything. Next shade, it's a mid-tone, neutral brown, matte, super buttery, gorgeous. It's Vitruvian, so this is um, inspired by the anatomical drawings by Da Vinci called the Vitruvian Man. Next, we have our really, really rich brown shade called Isleworth. Now, the inspiration behind this is quite interesting, actually. If you go ahead and Google Mona Lisa of Isleworth, there was actually a painting found in Isleworth a little while ago, a long while ago, and people thought it was a reproduction of the Mona Lisa that we know and love. But after historians had a look at it, we found out that it was actually a predecessor to the Mona Lisa that we know today. So Da Vinci had painted it many years before the original Mona Lisa, and it just got lost somewhere along the way. How interesting, huh? I'll put both of them up side by side so you can see. So this is the Mona Lisa of Isleworth. This is the original, this is the predecessor, and this is the one that we know. Next we have the shade Supper. This one is a super unique shade, so this is what's all over my eye. I actually used it on a small liner brush and kind of created the shape and then I blended it out. So the shade Supper is inspired by, you probably guessed it, one of the most renowned paintings of all time, The Last Supper. It also is inspired by the tones that you can see at the back of the Mona Lisa, so it's kind of like taking the environment that the painting is set in into account. Next, we have the shade Virgin, inspired by Da Vinci's depictions of the Virgin Mary. And it just, it's such a bright pink that can be muted or built up. The formula is really versatile. You guys, when you try it, you know what I'm talking about. You can build up or take away whatever you like. Super customizable. Next, we have Salvatore, which is a gorgeous light pink inspired by the painting Salvatore Mundi. It actually sold for $450 million a couple years ago. So it is one of the most recognizable paintings throughout history, and it's been reproduced so many times. Then we have this gorgeous matte burnt orange in the shade Tuscany. That's actually named after the region that the painter was born in. It has these really beautiful warm tones that will look good on everyone, which is so important to us. <laughs> is Renaissance, which is this gorgeous shimmery old gold. The shade is named after the entire art movement, you know, the art period that the painting is from, that the artist was a part of. I just love those kind of rustic gold tones, so I had to introduce it into the palette. Is our Madonna shade. It's inspired by the Benoist Madonna painting by Da Vinci. It's a gorgeous duochrome green gold gorgeous eyeshadow topper and really pretty on its own as well on any skin tone. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes just on its own. Mwah, love it, so versatile. So there you go guys, that's the palette. That's everything that inspired the palette. I really hope you like it. I would love to hear what you think about this entire collection. Let me know in the comments. We're launching it on the 24th of April, 12 a.m. Singapore time, so that's midnight on Friday. Um, that is 4 p.m. Friday, 24th April, GMT. I'll put some more information about different time zones so you can have a look. 
As you guys know, our website ships worldwide and we actually have free worldwide shipping over $99. We're also gonna have some special promos and bundles just for this launch for a limited period of time. So I'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on this palette. I cannot wait to hear what you think and I would love to hear your opinion thus far in the comments. Mwah! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you love this look and Thanks for all your love. I will see you guys on the 24th of April at launch. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is Sahar's Art for more updates. And also make sure to follow Sahar's Art Beauty, where we post all our brand things. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Bye.